Unable to connect on the first down pass play. Now it's second down. A shotgun snap for Tannehill. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. His tight end, Jordan Cameron, the intended target. And now it's third down. A good number of coaches at any time they call an in route are really worried about the play because there's so much traffic ordinarily that the ball has to get through to get to the receiver. And on that play, it was batted down. Throwing on third down, Tannehill. And Stills over the middle. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up. Keep it on his feet, get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. So on fourth down, the Dolphins will ask Matt Darr to kick it away. Back deep, Danny Amendola for New England. This is taken at the 15. That's a 49-yard punt, eight, though, on the return. And the Patriots take over. Okay, partners, New England comes out here to take the field on offense. This is such an interesting story, how they've been able to do it year after year after year. Guys talk about parity in the NFL. Well, New England has kind of transcended that parity, and they've done it with guys that you don't normally think of as household names. The parts keep changing for New England. That's the amazing part on offense, all right? Offensive linemen change, receivers change, running backs change. We know the one constant is Tom Brady, mm -hmm. and that's a huge deal for them. But to be able to do it in what you call the parity times, and you're exactly right, everyone's supposed to be pretty equal. New England still a top 10 offense year in and year out. In 2016, they were number four, and that helped, that helped them with a the number one ranked defense as well. Brady to throw on second down. And he's taken down. Back at his own seven. And Dominican Sue in there to get him his second sack now of the afternoon. Second down sack by the defense. What type of pressure will they bring here on third? We'll see. To throw, it's Brady. Sets up the screen to Lewis. And some room to work. And the yellow flag hurts this offense, and now they face a tough third down. Brady. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. Good contain. No gain on the screen, and it'll bring up fourth down. So unable to get any yardage at all off of the screen there on third down. And ordinarily on third down, that's when you want to bring pressure. You get all your guys who want to get after the quarterback. But how about the patience they showed? Read the play, snuffed it out, and made a nice stop. Landry now on the return. <laughs> An excellent return that time, 26 yards. And that will come the offense as they take over. Now we're going to get a timeout here called by the Patriots. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. They come out with one back and three tight ends. Here's Tannehill. And that's going to be incomplete. Deion Sims is tight end, the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. Second down now after the incompletion. Now it's the Boise State alum, Jay Ajayi. 
And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. It's a loss of four. Now third down. All right, partner, despite my eating habits, I'm not big enough to play offensive tackle, nor am I quick enough. But with the defensive ends nowadays and their speed, those guys have to be able to punch and dance, and it's a tough, tough job to contain them. Third down, still 14 yards left. the gun, Tannehill. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. So many offense want to include their running backs into their passing offense and be able to swing the ball out or check it down to them. But sometimes those guys are just not as comfortable catching the ball as they are running it. Here's Matt Dar now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. Taking it about the 16. 35 yards that time on the punt. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. Here come the Patriots again on offense, the Super Bowl champions. And boy, they have been able to do it. A lot of times, Charles, with unsung heroes, haven't they? Look at the names that led them through the playoffs. Hogan, White, Lewis, guys you just wouldn't think of. Yeah, Deion Lewis, a fifth-round pick. Three touchdowns against Houston in the divisional round. Chris Hogan, undrafted, he ends up having 180 yards in receptions, including five plays of 20 yards or more against the Pittsburgh Steelers. And how about James White, a fourth-round pick out of Wisconsin? Think about who he played behind while he was at Wisconsin, and he turns out to be the unsung hero of the Super Bowl. Would have been the MVP if it wasn't for Tom Brady. And you mentioned James White at Wisconsin. He was behind who? Melvin Gordon and Monte Ball, right? That's correct. Screen pass to Blunt. And he's able to get up here to the 26. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third down. And they're going to speed things up here. Throwing his Brady on third down. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. 12 yards there as they move the chains. On first and 10, here's Brady. Now they go screen. It's complete. And an alley to run. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Still first down. Brady going to throw. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Ten yards on the pick up there. And that's good for a New England first down. And quickly, they get to the line. Brady now on first down. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. A lot of teams love to throw screen passes. They want to tire out defenses because they make them run a lot. But there are a lot of moving parts on a play for an offense when they call that one. Because you got the linemen that have to move. You have the wide receivers that have to get out and vacate. You get the running back that's got to make a little fake and then get out into the route. And of course, the quarterback, he's got to hold in there and know he's probably going to take a big hit before he lofts the screen off to the back. Why didn't he catch it? That's all he needed to do for them to be successful. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Brady now on first down. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. A good pick up there on first as the screen pass gets him eight. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Ready to throw again. And in 
incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. Blunt, the lone running back. Now Brady. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. Now the Dolphins are going to take another timeout here. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. So here we go, first and ten now. Throwing on first down is Brady. He's going to be sacked back at the 23-yard line. Now hang on here. Timeout called. Timeout called by the defense. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. The final shot before half for Brady. And that is incomplete. Two seconds left on the clock. It's always tough for the guys throwing the football when they think they've got a completion and the ball's almost there, and then someone sneaks a hand or two in and bats it away. Field goal unit not out there. They won six before halftime. And some secondary help here for the defense in the nickel on third and long. To throw, it's Brady. We have hit half. Well, that came a little abruptly here. 